Hi everyone, my name is Max and I'm a co-founder at DittoFeed. DittoFeed is an open source alternative to platforms like Iterable, Customer.io, and Braze for automating marketing messaging. In this video, I'll show you a brief overview of how to use the platform and also how to set it up locally. Here's a quick overview of DittoFeed's journeys from the dashboard. The core of DittoFeed is our journey builder, which we use to automate user messaging. You might be familiar with this kind of interface if you've used other customer engagement platforms. Here's a pre-built journey for user onboarding. It messages new users when they sign up, waits a week, and then encourages them to upgrade if they haven't already. Let's move on to setting up the application. To run Ditto Feed locally, start by pulling up a terminal. First thing we're going to do is clone the Ditto Feed Git repo. Next, we're going to run Docker Compose up with the production Docker Compose file. Finally, we're going to run our Bootstrap script. Now let's pull up the dashboard and recreate the onboarding journey we just looked at. First, I'm going to create two simple message templates, one for new users, and the second to encourage users to upgrade their plan. Let's start with the welcome email. Let's rename it to welcome email. And then let's do some copying and pasting to save ourselves some time. Great, now let's create our second email template. And let's call this 10 reasons to upgrade. Let's do some copy paste here as well. And let's give that a save. Great. Next, let's create our user segments. Segments are subsets of users, which we can use to decide who gets messaged with what. Let's start with a new users segment. So let's rename it new users. Then let's add a user trait segment on the created at trait, where it is within 15 minutes. Awesome. Great. So let's create our second segment. This segment will be a paid users segment. Again, we're going to segment on the user trait. We're going to have the trait refer to the user's plan. And we're going to set it to paid. Awesome. Finally, let's plug our segments and templates into our journey. First, let's make sure that new users enter the journey. Then, let's send them a welcome email. Next, let's introduce a delay. Normally I would make this one week, but for the sake of testing, I'm going to make this 15 seconds. Then let's introduce a segment split. Let's split on whether users are paid or not. And then if they are paid, uh, we will send them no message. And if they are, aren't, we will send them a 10 reasons to upgrade message. Awesome. And we 
can rename this journey to onboarding journey. Next, we're going to set up integrations to feed data into the application and to send messages out of it. We're going to feed data through Segment, a popular CDP, and we're going to send emails with SendGrid. First, let's set up SendGrid. I'll log into SendGrid, create an API key, and then paste it into our app. We're on the API key settings page in SendGrid. Let's create an API key with the appropriate permissions. I'm going to copy this key over into our dashboard. Great. Don't worry, I'm going to delete this after the video is recorded. Now we can integrate segment in order to start importing data. We're going to use a webhook integration to our app. To test our webhook locally, we're going to use ngrok. ngrok can be used to expose local servers to public DNS. It's a great tool for testing webhooks. Let's run ngrok on port 3001, which is the port of DittoFeed's API server, which will be handling Segment's webhooks. From here, we're going to use a webhook destination and segment that I've prepared for this video. We'll create a mapping using the URL from our ngrok output with the correct path. I've also added a secret as seen below. I'm going to take this shared secret and add it to our settings in our dashboard. Finally, let's send ourselves a test event with a user who's created at timestamp was within the last 15 minutes. This user will be in our new user segment, and so we'll enter our onboarding journey. We should receive our first welcome email, followed by a 10 reasons to upgrade email. We can see here that we've got our first email. It's welcome. Then in another 15 seconds, we should see our 10 reasons to upgrade email. And here we go. Thanks everyone.